Hello my dear students today we are going to study estimation and round off and this is from grade 5 so what do you mean by estimation estimate estimation is to estimate it's not the actual number but you are estimating or you are just guessing that it will be correct and it will be near to so for example when you go outside for a trip and while returning back, everybody in your family is very tired and they want to return back and relax at home. So what happens? In that case, you ask your daddy or your mother, so how much distance more is there to travel? So your, uh, your father gives an estimation, okay, it is 25 kilometer or 50 kilometer. So it, it is just an estimation, not the actual kilometer what is left. For example, you are organizing a birthday party and your mama asks, how, how many children are you expecting to come? So you are given the, you have given the invitation. So you, uh, you give an estimation that, uh, okay, only 25 kids might be coming to the birthday party. So this is an estimation. This is not the actual amount. Some may turn up, some may not turn up. So this is just an estimation so that you be prepared for that many items, for that many guests. So this is called the estimation. One more example is there. Uh, a teacher has to collect the school supplies from the storehouse uh, in the school. So she has in her section, in her class, she has around 32 children. So how she will collect the school supplies? Yes, for the 32 children. She will not be counting all the 32 supplies, each and every thing and she will collect it. No, she will not do like this. In, case, in that case, the storekeeper, what he does, he makes a 5 bundle and 10 bundle he makes. So, for so a teacher in whose class there are around 32 children, she collects 3 tens bundle and 1 5 bundle. And whatever is extra with her, she will return afterwards. Uh, for another teacher, she has only 28 children in her class so how many she will collect she will take 30 30 of 3 10 bundles and she will keep it so that extra whatever is there she will return afterwards so this is an estimation and round off she so what this first teacher does so the first teacher did a round off of say 35 so it will not be less for each and every student and the second teacher did a round off to 30 so it will not be less than so it is it is very difficult to separate in the first place so today we are going to study about the estimation and round off in numbers so i have made for the estimation of numbers i have made a, a number line for you for example if i taking a number say 28 so 28 it's rounded up to 30 so it is rounded up to 30 up to 30 and if we take for example 22 it is rounded down it is what it is rounded down to how much to 20 because it is close to 20 and 28 is close to 30 so what happens in the round up uh, up and uh, rounding down how you do the round up and rounding down for example the number 1 2 3 4 is there and it is very near to 20 so we are doing rounding down and if a number is 5 or is greater than 5 means 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we are rounding up to a larger number that is the next number that is 30. So the knowledge of rounding off helps in estimation. This helps in estimation. Number is rounded to a lower number and it is called the rounding down. What it did here? It is it is rounding down 22 what i did is rounding down and it 28 what i did is rounding up so number is rounded to higher number and it is called the rounded up so the numbers 1 2 3 4 are rounded down and the numbers 5 6 7 8 and 9 are rounded up so this is all about the rounding up and rounding down what do you mean by rounding off so generally in this chapter we will have certain question wherever you have to round uh, round off the number to tens place, ones place, hundred place and thousand place. You will continue with this with the example. So what is rounding off? If a digit at ones place is less than 5, number is rounded down to nearest 10. So it, if it is less than 5, so what is uh, what will be the number? 1, 2, 3, 4. Then it is rounded down to the nearest number. Nearest 10 digit number. 
tens to uh, nearest a uh, number to the tens place so nothing will remain changed only the ones place will change but what happens if a digit at ones place is greater than 5 or is equal to 5 number is rounded up to the nearest 10 means the tens in the tens place uh, the number will increase and the ones place it will be zero so we have certain examples we have certain examples over here you can see where we have to round off the number so round off the number 1852 to nearest 10 how you will do it nearest 10 it means nearest 10 so you have to see the number in the ones place what is the number in the ones place it is 2 so 2 is less than 5. So what will happen? It, the number will be rounding down. So the number will be 1850. 1850 will be the answer because the 5 will remain unchanged and on the you, uh, ones place it will be changed to 0. On the right hand side of the number being rounded off it will change to 0. Now another example 2 is there where the round off we have to round off the number 786 and 2899. Here what you have to do? You have to round off the number 786 to the nearest 10. So you have to see the number in one's place. Number in one's place is how much? Number is one's place is 6. And 6 is greater than 5. So what will happen? If 6 is greater than 5, then in the 10th place what will happen? In the 10th place, the number will increase by 1 that is 8 plus 1 equals to 9 and the number, the final number will be 790 that is 790 because in the ones place we have to put it 0 because in it, it is in a, because we are doing the round off. So the answer will be 790. It will be rounded up to the higher number. Now the number is 2. 899. So we have to see the number in the uh, number in the ones place it is 9. 9 is greater than 5. So what will happen in the tens place what will happen? 9 in the tens place 9 is there. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So 10 tens is 100. So in the 100 place what you will do? In the 100 place also the number will be increased. 8 plus 1 equals to 9. So, the ultimate number is, is how much? 2900. Zero, zero. So, the number is 2900 zero, zero will be the answer. Now, the third example is round off the number 7436 to the nearest 100. What is the nearest 100 over here? So, we have to round off the number in the 100 place. So, the number we will write 7436 and we will see the number in the tens place. 3 is less than 5. So the number in the 100 place will remain unchanged and the other number that is number in the tens place and ones place will be rounded down to the nearest number. So it, the answer will be 7400 zero, zero. and this will be the answer. Now the four, fourth example is round off the number 145673 and 15967 to the nearest 100. So we have to see the number in the 100 place 15673. So the number in the tens place is 7. 7 is greater than 5. So in the 100 place what will happen? In the 100 place 6 plus 1 then the, the number will be increased by 1 and it will be 7. So it will be rounded up. And the rest all the tens place and the all ones place will be zero. So it will be one five one five seven zero zero will be the answer. Now the next number is one five nine six seven. One five nine six seven. So in here also you can see six is greater than five. So in the hundred place, what will happen? In the 100 place, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So, 10 100 is equal to 1000. So, in the 1000 place, what will happen? The, uh, the number will increase by 1. In the 1000 place, 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. So, the number while doing round off, it will be 1, 6, 1, 2, 3. And this will be the answer. Now the fifth, fifth example, round off the number 71258 and 64728 to the nearest thousand. 
so we have to see the number in the thousand place and we have to change the number in the thousand place so we have to see the number that is in the hundred place so two is less than five so what will happen the number the number in the thousand place will remain unchanged and the answer will be seven one one two three zeros that is others will become zero the number in the hundred place tens place and ones place will be zero and seventy one thousand will be the answer and it is rounded down now the next one is six four seven two eight where you can see seven seven is in hundred place seven is greater than five so what will happen in the in the thousand place what will happen thousand place the number will be increased 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 so the number the rest all number that is 100 100 sorry the rest all number that uh, rest all number that is in 100 place tens place and ones place will be 0 so the answer will be 6 5 triple 0 and this will be the answer. So today we studied about the estimation and round off. We learned about the rounding of the number according to the place value with certain examples. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.